there's not too many human beings capable of doing more than 10 good songs yeah. a year. You know, that's about, that's true. if you can get 10 good songs a year, you're doing something. Uh, you know, that's interesting, really. It, uh, that's what it sounds like. It sounds like a complete integration of everything you've been into, which is cool. I wanted it to sound like yeah. a band record. For a while, we were talking about just calling it a band, but the label was like, well, you, you know, you spent 10 years on the road doing Jesse Mallon. It's kind of a thing. And so make it Jesse Mallon and the, you know, somebody's. And so the St. Mark Social, the idea kind of came, a lot of the lyrics in the record deal with a lot of my messengers, a lot of my teachers. I didn't really go to school much, but people like Allen Ginsberg was around this neighborhood or Johnny Thunders and everybody kind of played a little bit of a role of learning a little something. And I wanted the band to feel like a social club, but not so much like in a mafia way, more in like an open door of a hangout. And if somebody came in and played some percussion, that they were part of uh, the St. Mark Social and that, that kind of uh, poetry. <laughs> yeah, it's very cool, very cool actually. Uh, let, let's do something. We we uh, we're gonna uh, we're gonna have like a uh, a seminar section of, of Fustopia, our new website, and we're gonna have like different levels uh, of of to try and mentor kids, right? To some extent. So uh, let's let's have a little, let's try a little something and um, do like three levels of of like where, where things could, could be at. You know what I mean? In other words, talk about for a minute what you would tell a kid just starting out today, you know? Like what, either as a songwriter or as a, as a performer, or, you know? They're just like, they're, they're like 12, 13 years old, right? They want to get into rock and yeah. roll, you know? What would just, you know, what would, you, what would be your first? I would say shoot from your heart and listen to things that, you know, that really connect to you, whatever they are, how you feel about them, records or sounds. Make a band with people you like to get together with people that you know your friends, and let it be fun, and let it be real, not too studied. It's good to do the work, but also to listen to other artists and go back and know your history of you know how things are built. You know, to, there's so much information on the internet to be able to you know check out records that you like and then recreate them. I think to realize that uh, originality comes from a mixture of different things. If, you know, if somebody's exposed to three or four different things and you put that together in the soup, you're going to spit it out in your own way. I think it's uh, important to sing about things that are in your environment that you're familiar with so it comes true and uh, you know, be able to channel anything that's bothering you or anything you're joyous about into the song and, and that'll ring true over the microphones and be able to spit that out and uh, to use the music as uh, a force, either therapy or some kind of harmony or some kind of way to you know, make your mark in life so that it's, uh, it's your expression, it's your voice. And, w and when you're starting, is it is it, a, is it a good idea to, to actually play, you know, play covers, to, to play your, your favorite songs so you get a chance to maybe analyze them, kind of pull them apart, you know what I mean? Did, did you do that when you, when you started? Yeah, I think, you know, I started taking guitar lessons and they were trying to teach me Led Zeppelin and, and uh, Van Halen and all that stuff and it was, it was a lot of work and I was, you know, very hyper and ADD before they had the term and, you know, A-D-D-D-D, -D -D -D, whatever. And, and then suddenly, like, I got the Ramones records and it was like, wow, three chords, I can go write a song and then I started just saying, I want to write my own songs and in some ways that was, getting so into that was great because it put me on a stage at 12 years old at, at CBGB's on audition night but on the other hand, maybe if I would have stayed a little bit longer and learned those Jethro Tull riffs, I might have understood, you know, some more about when I started to need more tools to write. So I think to have knowledge isn't a problem, but I think it's what really turns you on and to study those records. For instance, the Ramones' first album, if you turn the balance to one side, you just hear the bass, and if you turn it the other way, you hear the guitar, and you could hear, I think there was one screw up in there too, but it was a great way to play <laughs> along to that. I think it helps your timing, you get an understanding of how people write, song structure, okay, you know, the verse, chorus, whatever. I once read um, an interview with Iggy Pop, and he said, how do you write songs? And he says, I just play Stone songs, and I get drunk until they become mine. <laughs> and, you know, there's so much of that. And some people get so worried about being so original, but I don't think, you know, as Chuck Berry will tell you, there's nothing original under the sun. It's, it's just how you put it together. But I think listening to records that mean a lot to you and, and studying them, will give you that craft and kind of understand you know, how a lyric is written. Like, what, what is this, you know, where's to put you into action, the description, the words, how a song starts. I would just look at first lines of songs for a long time. Be like, how does it put you, like even with Springsteen, like, you know, Rattlesnake Speedway in the Utah desert. Like, you're right into like a movie. Like, right away, you're going right here. You know, the kids are all hopped up and ready to go. Like, it's just that kind of thing. 
And um, I always carry a pen. And for years, even when I was a kid, I have a notebook and just be writing down ideas, something that sounds cool in a movie, something somebody says in a diner, or something your parents said, or whatever. You know, it's in this book. And I always go back to the books when I need, I'm tied for a line or a concept for a song. Mm. There's notebooks piled all over the house. I guess you could put it into your Twitter or your, you know, <laughs> Raspberry or whatever you have now. You know? so. <laughs> Sing it to your cell phone.